Hi, I'm Dr. Raymond Douglas, from Beverly Hills, California, and welcome to another episode of Thyroid Thursday. In the next several episodes and over this period of the year, we're going to highlight many things you can do to improve your thyroid health. And that comes from diet, exercise, mind-body connection, and even some alternative therapies. Today I'm going to be discussing exercise and really the benefits and it can, for improving thyroid health. So the thyroid is the thermostat that controls the metabolism of your body. It makes a hormone that causes the body to either rev up or to slow down. And that's why people who have a very fast thyroid or are hyperthyroid are hyper because it's causing the heart to race faster and it's causing the metabolism to move faster. There's often a lot of weight loss during those periods. In opposition, if you have a very low or sluggish thyroid, which so many people have, you experience weight gain, you experience loss of muscle mass, and those are really tough circumstances to deal with because you can improve your thyroid health and then you can improve your thyroid numbers, but you really have to have a combination of diet and exercise to really get the most benefit. I think exercise is incredibly important for the mind as well as the body. There was a recent study that was just published that showed that exercising every day, even just 20 or 30 minutes, and can, re can reduce the age of your brain by 10 years. So that means that you are actually mentally 10 years younger just by exercising and with low impact, without you know, running a marathon, but just low impact exercise daily. So that mind-body connection is incredibly important. I think that when someone approaches exercise, obviously you want to talk to your primary doctor and get specific recommendations. But I think for many of my patients, it's very important to remember that you want to build lean muscle mass and reduce fat. You especially want to reduce fat around your waist or your midsection because that's the inflammatory fat. That fat produces these substances called cytokines which spew out into your system and drive your thyroid uh, crazy by causing inflammation. They fuel autoimmune disease, they fuel heart disease, strokes, so you want to reduce as much body fat as you can. So how can you do that? Well, you need something to burn body fat, and that is a good diet that's reduced in sugars, which we'll talk about at another time, if, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel to don't miss this information. But exercise and building muscle mass is incredibly important. In building muscle mass, there's two types of muscle fibers. There's the fast muscle fiber that's a sprinter or a weightlifter and a bulky muscle fiber. And then there's what's called a slow twitch muscle fiber. And it's the one that can hold a weight for minutes or even longer without giving out. And those are two very different types of muscle fibers. When you get older, you may not want to run the marathon or do the heavy weightlifting and build all that bulk, but instead you still want to have muscle mass, especially through your core and throughout your body of these slow twitch fibers. So the best way to achieve that is something called time over tension type exercises. And they can be with weights, but they're not typical weights where you're trying to go as fast as you can, but you're trying to go slowly. And in the future, we're going to have a little video where we demonstrate this, but you go slowly lifting the weights over four or six seconds up, four or six seconds down. And you can just do even air squats. And these are things that everyone can do, but you're working your slow twitch muscle fibers. And this is really important because these things are fat incinerators. They make the fat go away and they burn fat almost exclusively as opposed to the fast twitch muscle fibers that just get big and bulky. These, by building and working on these slow twitch, slow muscle fibers, you get long and lean. And that's a big difference. It, in, it reduces the belly fat that causes so much inflammatory process and it dramatically changes your body shape. So the things to concentrate on, and we'll have an exercise plan released, I think, fairly soon so that you can really focus upon these areas, is focus upon your core, doing exercises that really accentuate your core and your legs in a very slow way. 
again, it doesn't have to be running the marathon, but you can do these types of exercises at home and really begin to change your body shape and your thyroid health. Make sure you don't miss our upcoming segments and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you like our content, please let us know. Thank you so much.